Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we've got another episode of Object Review. So this is now episode 3 of this series. So yeah, we've got 3 from Mad Planet Guy to do today. We haven't had anything from him sent in ages for any videos. Yeah, we've got 3 objects um, that he has modded for us to check out in today's episode. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. So yeah, his simulation is called Object Review. Right there, as you can see, yeah by Mad Planet Guy. So let's just get straight into it and start our Object Review. So um, yeah, here we are. So we've got three objects here. Now I have actually seen um, some of these already, only pictures of them. And from what I've seen and what I'm looking at right now, these look really good. So, right, we'll start off with the um, small one down here. And yeah, that one on... Now, actually, no, I've got to start with this one. This, this one is just amazing. So here is Mad Planet Guy's custom Pascal. So yeah, if, you, um, if you've ever seen Pascal before in my videos, it's basically my, like number one custom earth like this is my favorite custom earth and he's built a variant of it and just look at this right this is quite unique because if you know universe sandbox modding you'd know how hard it is to get white clouds on a colored atmosphere because usually whatever color the atmosphere is that's the color of the clouds but he has managed to get white clouds with a green atmosphere with light blue water which is exactly how like i want the planet and it's got green city lights as well i mean Look how good that looks. I mean, I've, I obviously, I'd probably be a little biased with this one because this one is, it's one of like my planets I have custom variants of as well. But look at this. I mean, you can see it's got a custom like texture underneath it as well here. Like it's got like craters and just like the land. Look how cool the landscape looks with all the colors. But yeah, just look at it. It looks so good. I mean, the green, all of the green, the light blue water. I mean, you can see it a lot of time has been put into this. So credit where credit's due, though, even though I may be a little biased for this one, it looks great. 100%. 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, I would give for this. I mean, it just looks so good. The variation of colours, the surface colour, the light blue water, the white clouds with the green atmosphere. I mean, you guys know I like green atmospheres, but I mean, with the light blue water, it's been tinted as well, I'm assuming, the white clouds. I mean, it's really, really good. I mean, this thing looks great. So yeah, you guys um, let us know what you think down below in the comments of these objects as well. Because remember, it's not just about me uh, checking out the objects. Let us know what you think as well um, for this series. So everyone or the creators of these objects can get feedback. So um, yeah, that that Pascal is an absolute beauty. And yeah, definitely one of my top, top objects. I mean, if I compare it to um, my own Pascals, I actually do already have a copy of this one as well. Um, which I have not really used um, at all because I haven't really made any simulations with it. But yeah, my regular pascal which is uh, which was the one i used this is the pascal i curated and you can see there's really a difference i mean this one has got way more blue on it but this one has got more green and the, the, the light blue water on that definitely looks better than the normal blue water on this one and obviously this one has green clouds that one has white clouds and i really do think it it just looks so much better than the variant the older variant right here so yeah definitely a uh, improvement with this i mean this thing just looks great I mean, so yeah, really, really high score for that. But again, I may be a little biased as I really do like the way this, um, I really do like Pascal anyway. And I've already had variants of it in the past. But yeah, anyways, moving on to um, Earth 2.0 now. So let's get a little look at this one before we move on to that one. So here is Earth 2.0. And this one's actually looking pretty cool as well. He's also got a coloured atmosphere with white clouds. So that seems to be a new sort of uh, type of modded object because... Usually when we see objects of white clouds, it's usually with a white atmosphere or a two-tone atmosphere. But this one is just all the same color atmosphere with white clouds. See, that's something that's pretty um, new. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure if anyone else has been able to do these before. So I think this may be a new sort of breed of objects with white clouds and colored atmospheres. I mean, it looks great. Again, with the um, clouds. The white clouds just add so much more when you have a colored atmosphere. I mean, with Pascal as well, it just looks like we're moving closer to each other here. But... They look so good with white clouds and a coloured atmosphere. So, yeah, this one as well. I'd definitely give you a 8 or 9 out of 10 for this. I mean, really, really cool. The, the deep purpley blue indigo atmosphere. Really like that as well. And then, obviously, let's check the stats on it. Why not? Uh, 86 and 24. I mean, we're not around a star. So, I mean, they're not really the most accurate anyway. But, yeah, looking pretty nice indeed. It's at 69 degrees. So, pretty hot here. But, yeah, we're not really looking at the stats. We're just looking at visual appearance of this series. And, man, that does look good. Really like it. I think the colours blend very nicely as well under there. Like, there we go. So it's like a rocky sort of landscape with a bit of green as well. It's like a forest rock landscape is what I'm getting from this. It looks really cool. Really, really nice object there. Very dark in colour as well. I do, I like that. And it does look like a pretty Earth-like world from a distance as well. I mean, well, yeah. 
I, I really like that. So there is that one. And then moving on to the last object, which is Planet Leo. This is Mad Planet Guy's like cover image for his uh, um, profile picture. And this is his latest version of Planet Leo here. And it is looking very interesting with that this area here. I mean, that's... That's pretty cool. He's definitely been merging textures and stuff together to curate that madness. I mean, you can see the land there. There it is in the daytime. Right there. But behind it, at nighttime, it goes to a white colour, which is very interesting. I mean, yeah, there it is in the daytime. But as soon as you drag it to the nighttime, it glows white. Now, that's pretty unique. And I'm not sure if anyone else... I mean, we have seen glowing objects before, but I don't know if we've seen any doing exactly what this is doing. I mean, that is, that is pretty darn cool. I mean... There it is right there. And then that red atmosphere, or like this orangey red atmosphere as well, I think it looks good, really, really good as well. Like it's more like an orange atmosphere with red clouds, actually. I wouldn't, I'd definitely say those clouds are more red than orange, but yeah, so he's also got different coloured clouds with a different coloured atmosphere again. So it seems to be a trend that he seems to be doing at the moment. Really, really cool. And then it's also got the purple surface underneath. So there's a better view of it there. So let's see what it looks like if we remove a bit of the water. There you go, so you can just, just so we can see a bit more of it. So that's the texture underneath. Oh my god, look at this. Wow. So it looks like it's a mercury. I think that's a mercury texture there, which he has created here. Pretty pretty unique how the world this is. What I mean, look at that. So there's bits of it are purple. I know we definitely have seen objects where the texture is on the back of it like this before. We've definitely seen stuff like that before. So this must be a sort of subbreed of that. I guess, but really cool how he's managed to get it like purple like that. And also the purple areas are the high elevations. So as soon as you add water, only the purple areas will be showing. So if we just go ahead and do that. So yeah, the purple areas are the only bits that show when you um, add water. I mean, look how good it looks. If we just add the atmosphere back, I think it looks better with a little more land myself. But yeah, really, really cool and definitely a unique um, one of a kind object right here. I mean, look how good it looks. Really, really like that as well. So yeah, definitely give this guy... A 9 out of 10, or a 10 out of 10 as well. I mean, really, really looking good. I mean, just look at it. Really unique as well with the way it's constructed. I mean, I really do like that custom sort of texture as well. He has created from a mercury texture by the looks of it. Really, really cool how he has managed that. And I know, um, I don't think many other people are doing stuff in this department. So he's um, working on his own sort of area with all of this custom texture stuff. So it's pretty, pretty cool stuff right there. So yeah, really, really cool. And yeah, guys, let us know what you think down below of these objects. I think it's a very nice batch of objects. I mean, the Pascal as well, really, really good looking. I think the Earth is the only one that doesn't have a custom. Yeah, that, that's a normal surface texture there. But yeah, the other two have got custom sort of surfaces underneath, which is re a really cool and unique design. I mean, Pascal's obviously my favourite, but again, like I said, I'm a little biased to this one because Pascal is one of my objects, which I've had for a long time. And But I, I really do like the water there. I mean... Hopefully most of you will agree with me that that light blue water with the green atmosphere and the green lights just looks so good. I mean, but yeah, that's just my opinion. So if you guys think differently, let us know what you think down below of which one's the best or which one you think's the best. But yeah, I think all of these are really cool. Definitely though, Pascal's my number one. Number two is Planet Leo for me. And then number three would be the Earth 2.0. But yeah, all of them I think look really, really good from a distance as well. I mean, that does look really good, I have to say. But I think they all look really, really cool in their own ways. And yeah, that is everything for today's video, guys. So yeah, let us know what you thought down below. I mean, again, going back to Planet Leo, that purple custom surface underneath, I think it looks great. I mean, very, very unique, very cool. But yeah, there we go. So that is all of those guys, guys. So yeah, like I said, let us know what you think down below because the whole point of this series is not just to get my opinion but also see what you guys think of everyone else's creations. So yeah, let us know which ones you think are the best um, down below for all of these objects. And yeah, just give them out, put, put them out of 10 as well, which one you think's the best and just yeah, rate them all out of 10 because yeah, pretty cool. And then it also gives the creator of the objects some feedback on what looks good and what looks bad from other people's perspectives as well. So yeah, really, really cool um, stuff right there. Also, a massive thank you for Mad Planet Guy for sending these objects in for episode 3 of this series. And yeah, guys, if you want to send in this series as well, objects of the series as well, all you need to do is join my Discord, link in the description, put free objects of any kind like gas giants or rocky planets into a simulation, any free objects, and then just send them in the upload um, chat for it, and then let me do the rest. Once I see it, I can make a video on it, and yeah, there you go. Hopefully the video will be out as soon as I can, just depending on how many of them get posted. But yeah, there we go, guys. So that is everything for today's video. So if we, let's see if we can go for 30 likes for these really cool-looking objects. And yeah, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Subscribe if you're new, and yeah, have a great day. Goodbye.